like it's getting pretty steam down there. Indeed it does, Chris. Yeah. I believe the score now is uh, 30 love in favor of Maple River. I tell you what, it's really good for when these girls win a match is when they get to come to school the next day with a good greeting from all the, their classmates yeah. and their teachers, every, all their supporters. It's really, it's, it's a positive atmosphere. Yeah, it really is, Chris. 40 love coming up here. Heather Annis, she would have taken a little bit off that return. That probably would have been the match. I think she definitely had two yeah. balls of Wheaties this morning. Long yep, time. two. Couldn't have put it better myself. 30, 30, uh, 40, Heather really has a strong passion for the game and wouldn't want to taint her record, so we wouldn't have to worry about testing her for steroids like some professional athletes. Yep. Yeah, she had a one heck of a match last year up in, uh, I believe it was in St. Peter. Uh, was that, what was it, three and a half hours, something like that? Yeah, it was definitely one of the longer matches we see here on the sport, and uh, yeah. we heard about it on the radio yep. in the classroom there. And she was definitely giving it her best. Yeah. And while we're busy reminiscing about matches past, Heather Annis takes 50. 15:30 right now in favor of Sibley East. Sibley East has come back now. They're taking a 3-2 lead over Kenzie Volts and Tabitha Whitus. Okay, you're flying solo for a second. Gotta, you're flying solo for a second. I gotta make it sound like I'm not about ready to die. Guess what? I gotta get my breath back here. Right oh, okay. <laughs> I believe the score is 15 love here. Makes it 30 love. We'll check with Tabitha Whitus to make sure that score is correct. Thirty love. Oh, I'm sorry, that's forty love. Second serve coming here, folks. Second serve on the way. Into the net. That takes the game, ties things up at three apiece. Sibley serving here. And hit her into the net. Love 15. Yeah, love 15 there in favor of Maple River. A little bit of frustration there from the Sibley East players. And rightfully so, they've been going at this for quite some time now. I think any athlete by now would be getting a little upset. Yep, folks, here at the Maple River Media Group, we enjoy playing a game that I like to call Musical Broadcasters. Right now we're joined once again in the sound booth by Jason Willis, our executive producer, and uh, tennis ace. Trying to help these boys understand how tennis is scored. Yep. If we're we're going to see if we can get an uh, interview from Coach Anis here, uh, Anderson in a little bit. Uh, give us an update on how everybody else is doing on the team. In fact, here he is, the man himself, Coach Anderson. Hello, Coach Anderson. How is everything going today? Well, we've got a beautiful day for tennis here. And uh, our number one singles, Heather Annis, won pretty convincingly. And number two, Mandy Stenson won pretty convincingly. We got a dogfight here at number two and number one doubles where our backs are against the wall. So we're going to have to come back and battle. So, you know, we've kind of given them a little pep talk. And our girls are playing fine. But they're on the big points. They're not able to put them away. But hopefully they will here a little bit. And there's Tabitha White has hit a nice shot. And they play, played well, just not at the big points. And I... I think they'll start coming around. So they just finished the game up there. So hopefully they'll be they'll be back there at one doubles, Mackenzie and Tab. Uh, we got uh, three and four singles, Sarah Anderson and Stephanie Smith going on right now. So hopefully uh, those games will be a good game for us too. So and thanks for coming out here, you guys, and doing this. This is awesome. 
the, the first time. This is a, a new thing, and hopefully it will work well, and we'll come back and do this again. So thank you guys for doing this. Yep, thanks for your time, Coach. That was Maple River Eagles tennis coach uh, Tim Anderson. A word from his uh, point of view, an update on how everyone's doing. Coming back live now from Heritage Park at the Maple River Tennis uh, versus uh, Sibley East High School right now. I think Coach A brought a little luck to them. They came back and stole two straight um, yep. games there. Uh, they pulled into a lead now. 4-3 yep. lead in favor of the Eagles. Uh, that interview with uh, Coach Anderson, I tell you, I must, might, might need to get him back here for another one because other singles over there, Hannah Bartell and Brooke Osmondson, have their back against the wall right now too, actually. Maybe we need to get Coach A over here for another word and maybe bring them some Maybe bring them some luck. Second straight year, Maple River Tennis has come out to a really good start on the season. Uh, they stumbled uh, last week a little bit to St. Peter, but um, things are looking much better for them. Yep. Tell you what, if they keep up the play level they're at right now, they could be a force to be reckoned with here in the southern Minnesota tennis region. USC and St. James have always been traditional powerhouses, yeah. but uh, Maple River has done a good job the last few years making things respectable, really um, putting good product on uh, you know, every match there, whether it's singles or doubles. They um, really have a lot of young talent coming up here. Oh, yeah. Kenzie Bolt's on the serve. Kenzie Bolt's on the serve. Second serve. Second serve coming in there. Good athleticism there by Volts. Save that volley. And that's out. Our camera can only show so much of the court here, so we'll tell you that that was definitely an <laughs> how to play ball. Yep. Um, just clip the edge of our camera. Yep. I believe the score is 30 love now. That should put it at 40 love. Yeah, indeed it should, Jason. The advances they're making in modern technology could have saved a cameraman's life right there. <laughs> Had that been our usual sideline cameraman, Dan Brown, he might be uh, holding an ice pack on himself right now. That's very true. Uh, we can't um, we have to go with still cameras here. We don't yeah. want to distract the players too much. Yeah. Damn, uh, before this all got started, I heard Coach A talking to the players on what to do should a ball land, you know, under the tripod or, you know, in an area where our cameras are kind of in the way. And, you know, on one hand, you almost feel bad. Maybe we're getting in their way a little bit too much. But then you have to think, think to yourself, well, we got to cover this to the best of our ability. So, you know, there's some pros and cons to everything, I guess. I believe we just won that last game. I believe so. Bless my eyes deceive me, which they rarely do. Nice effort there. Uh, that might have been out of your yeah. 